Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Beginning to creep me out, Arthur. Get out of here. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what? You're missing out. I can give you any piece of advice. When you get all, don't become a mother. Ain't worth it. Worst job in all creation. Feed the boy. Raise the boy. Do any damn thing you could to protect the boy. My lady. Hello, Arthur. Or. What's wrong, Arthur? You awake yet? Well, Arthur. I'm tired, Arthur. I need to sleep, Arthur. You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. Well, let's wait a bit. Well, I should get my beauty sleep.
You know. <laughs> I just wanted a boa. <laughs> a fancy you gonna boa. get up? What do you want? That's all I want. If I had a boa, I'd be a happy woman. You were snoring, that's I'd all. A lady I need sleep. Finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a little bit ill. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. That's deep, Uncle. I speak only the truth. Well, that's one lie right there. did good in Valentine. Hey, come on. What's your problem? That's better. Let's go, boy. Hey there. Mr. Morgan? Arthur, you're gonna get my new So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs>
to the fools in Congress uh, and their ludicrous ideas. Uh, but today, we grow one yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. as we anoint a new brother yeah. into yeah. our sacred cause. Yeah. Please step yeah. forward and kneel. Right. <laughs> Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah, oh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Woo. All right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. The eternal light shines. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now.
Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> Oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on Earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. We'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. Just get back on the bloody horse. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Back on the road. Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting. Oh well, round of applause. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just slutty hell, bitch. Drive on the road for Christ's sakes. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. They're going to wreck the wagon. Well, we're sticking it to rich folks. I oh, hate rich folks. But they really bury some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? Whoa! Hold up a second. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. You want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here, uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh. Uh, 
And before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. And not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable. Eh? <coughs> Open here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Boy, there's someone coming on the left. And already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. A 
that should do it. Good for you. It's gonna be a long night. 